Welcome back everyone to Lore of the Shadow where today we are starting a series of skirmishes to get a baseline of the Lore Master before the update and we'll be continuing along with it later on afterwards and it's also going to double up as an attempt to finish up my skirmish deeds. Well, Tuckboro, I have the fire starter, the arsonist is the only one I have left at the moment. So let's see if we can get him on this run. I've set this at tier 2 since I've been finding tier 1 skirmishes to be a little bit on the easy side here. And making sure that I could handle this well enough though. Let's see what we got. So let's see if I can inch my way closer to Skirmisher of Middle-earth, since that is, of course, a typical title that I attempt to get on my characters. There you go. Now, what do we got? Oh, okay, there is one on this end also. Hello! Oh. So, oh, there's one hiding up here. And that completes that. Took him a little while. But alright. Now they're reducing the reductions, I think, on a lot of these things in the update, which would be nice because waiting for a lightning bolt to hit is a bit of just feel tedious sometimes when you wait along for those inductions. So I think they're reducing some of the inductions. I haven't tested that out yet, of course. Oops. And I. Oops, Daisy. And. Okay. Let, let's leave the eagle to do some of this stuff. Uh, that's the problem is, is of course, then they go after the herbalist. There we go. Oh, and you. It's these counterattacks, I think, which are going to be the toughest bit on here, since they all swoop down on you at once. So I think if I'm going to run into trouble, that's when it's going to be. Now, let's see. These wolves. Well, that one's not going to ignore the fact that I just threw a fireball at it. <laughs> and that's for you. Now, of course, there would be the question about what would be the best pet to use, but... Lately, I've been using the Eagle mainly for story reasons in my in my series that I'm running along on there. Of course, in running the skirmishes, I might just switch back to a pet that I think is going to work better for this particular scenario. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. That, that's going to make things tricky. Uh-oh! Nope. Fine, fine. Can I kill him fast enough so that he doesn't rile up the opponent? Uh, okay, that, that was a bad idea. I guess I'm used to tier one where you could just kill the zealot so quickly that he doesn't have a chance to really get off his yell. No, that doesn't seem to be as viable in tier 2. Alright, so you could, you could go up there. And of course, then make a beeline for the herbalist. Where is my herbalist? Oh, there we are. Okay, there, there you go. Ah. Life expectancy of an herbalist is pretty short in 
in a tier two skirmish, I suspect. Actually, I keep on forgetting to bring these out, but I do have these scrolls. I might as well use them. And those are some of the tools that I have available. All right, now. Where? Ah, there you are. Hi there. Yeah, yeah, the weak ones aren't as weak in tier two. Okay, let's grab that and see. Do we have the arsonist? Really? There are three. There are three encounters that are triggered by taking that. And we got the two that I don't need. Well, I'm not running all the way up down to the farm in order to handle that one. So we'll just take the one at the willow since that's reasonably close to it. But I'm not running halfway across the Shire or, or I guess all the way across the uh, Took land in order to handle it. Okay, number three. Finally, number four. I'd really wish that they would update those insects so that they would There you go. Murder crows. Perfect way to handle the bosses. Ah, good. That takes care of old root. Now let's go and take care of the second half of the skirmish. And unfortunately, I have not. I still haven't stopped him from burning down hobbit holes. Okay, uh, let's see. We've got the bearer of light. Ooh, do I have anything that's going to be useful in this? Uh, you can go there. We can go here. Okay, you can go down. You two are stuck for a moment. Ah, all right. Probably one of the few times where I've used cracked earth reasonably effectively. All right, now for you. Oops. Oh. You down there. You can go down there. Looks like I got all the trash mobs down first. Okay, not all of them. I've seen the missed one. Why? You know, that's the first time I used that skill. Storm lore. That's one of those skills I keep on forgetting about. All right, that takes care of that end. All right. I think I like this as a... as a reasonable challenge level no not not super challenging where i'm going to have to spend all day just trying to concentrate on it but enough so that i just don't mow through everything too easily it might be a good test to on how the lore master is now because this is before patch. I guess I should make that clear every time I 
run one of these because the idea here is to run some skirmishes before the patch and then after the patch and see the difference on how the lore master operates in them all right there you go Oy, the Storm lore is has a very very long cooldown. It looks like so it's obviously not one to just to be using lightly. Ha! <laughs> Got you there. Oh yeah, my my, my herbalist is. It is a mob magnet. That that's all I gotta say about my herbalist. There we go. Now, see, can I get you? Uh oh. Mm, no, not at all. That uh, I don't know if I got too close or if you noticed. There you go. Your turn. Hey. You know, actually, I surprised my. Oh, that's right. This is. That's right. We're at level 75 here. This is before. This is before soldiers hit their max level of usefulness and then started tanking down after that so so my herbalist is reasonably keeping up on this I guess because I'm used to what happens at level cap right now where where soldiers they just uh, they're just cut through completely let's see how is how far is he? Because if I had said that I got behind on my skirmishes, that would imply that I've gotten behind on training my soldier. So I better check that. Let's see. My soldier. Trace. Ooh, gee, we are at rank 14, equivalent to level 57. Yeah, I'll have to rank them up before the next before the next episode so that we'll be at equivalent I'll bring it up to the whatever rank is equivalent to level 75 that way I'll have it at, at a fair level in there in other words no not leveled up so high as to be ridiculous but not super low either Okay, and your turn. Oh, and, <laughs> and the eagle was close enough that the boss well, actually you, you get it. Now, since he's only a signature, yeah, he doesn't really last long. There you go. All right. And that was Trouble on Tuck Bro, which can get a little bit tricky when you come to the counterattacks and the like due to all those mobs there. Next time, I think I need to do Siege of Gondaman next. And we can see how things operate on a defensive skirmish. So I will be better leveled up by then when I return for that the next episode of Lore of the Shadow.